taste so good, make you want to slap your mama. Don't it, Willie? Yeah, boy. Hey, mama. What the hell you want, Willie? What's going on y'all? KP Goods is here back with another instructional video. Now on this channel, we do videos based on cooking and baking with cannabis, as well as other fun related things. Now this time, we're stepping it up with a twist of a very popular sauce, Hennessy Barbecue. Now as always, we're gonna take a few moments to give you some time to jot this recipe down so you can follow along with us. Now with that being said, let's jump into the video. Now the first thing that you're going to want to go do is you're going to get your stove cut on to about a medium high heat. Now you're going to want to place your pot on the stove or in this case a hot plate. Now once your pan starts to get hot, go ahead and throw that butter in and wait for that butter to melt down. Once it starts to melt down, you can go ahead and throw in your chopped onions. Now you're probably asking yourself, well, why didn't you want the butter to cook down a little bit more? Don't you want to have your onions sizzling? Short and long answer is no. Now during this very crucial step, you're going to want the onions to sweat into the butter, giving it the flavor that it needs. You don't want to have your onions sizzling because then they'll start to brown from frying and well, then you'll just have overcooked onions in your recipe impacting the taste and we don't want that. Now moving on, once your onions are in the pot, you're going to let that simmer for about four to five minutes or until the butter is slightly reduced down. Now once that butter is reduced down, we can go ahead and start building our sauce. Grab your two cups of ketchup and stir that bad boy in, letting the sauce and the butter meet with the onions and giving it another stir for about a minute or so. Now from here, you can actually add your medicated honey. And this is a house made medicated honey if you'd like a recipe on how to infuse your honey, leave a comment below. Now honey can be very sticky and have a slow release upon being removed from the spoon. So as a suggestion, spray the spoon with a little bit of cooking spray prior to putting the honey in it so it kind of slips right out. Now next, you're going to add your molasses. Now molasses helps to give it some flavor and add some much needed thickness to your sauce. Now for the next step, you're gonna to wanna to add your barbecue sauce. Now of course, you can use any barbecue sauce that you like, but for this video, we're gonna use Sweet Baby Ray's. Now from there, you'll add your brown sugar. Now earlier, I did suggest using one and a half cups of brown sugar, but you can always add a skosh more to make it a little bit sweeter. Now I thought it was fine to use one and a half cups, but it is sauce. I mean, you can't really go wrong with it aside from making it salty or bland, which is what we're definitely looking to avoid here. Now, the next step is to add your barbecue seasoning. Now, this was a specialty blend that we got from our local farmer's market, but you can find this at any grocery store in the spice aisle. Now, last and certainly not least is your hot sauce. Now, of course, you can use any hot sauce of your choosing, but again, we're kind of bougie we use truff now before you ask no this isn't a paid advertisement from truff i got this for my birthday i put this on practically anything from chips to tacos even chicken now this particular flavor is their hottest hot sauce and this is definitely one i would recommend that you get we'll put some links in the description below if you're interested in buying it now of course you can't have hennessy infused barbecue sauce without adding hennessy right so you're going to take about an ounce, which is about the size of a shot glass full of Hennessy and add that to your mixture. Now, at this point, you're going to want to reduce your heat down to low and let your sauce simmer for about 10 minutes, continuing to stir until your sauce gets to its desired amount of thickness.
Now once that's done, get a strainer and a cup and pour that sauce in. Now this step is crucial because you don't want huge chunks of onions in your sauce. And if you do, that's okay. I mean, that's your business. It's not recommended, but you know, do you. One thing I will tell you is that this sauce goes well on just about anything, including infused Hennessy barbecue wings. Well, stay tuned to our channel because in the next video, we're going to be putting this sauce on some wings and taking your taste buds on the ride of their life. Now, if you want more content like this, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And be sure to tune in for more cannabis-based recipes. Till next time, this is KP Good saying, take care and thanks for watching.